Okay, I've got a simple car to demonstrate the movement motors. Movement motors are motors that move a robot along, usually in a car form, okay? And they've got motors that face opposite ways to each other. Before you start using any of these blocks, you need to add this one, set movement motors. You need to tell the robot which motors are being used to move the robot because you might have other motors plugged in doing other things and it won't know the difference. You need to set the movement motors and it's a good idea to check where your motors are plugged in. They're plugged in to C and D, okay, because I've tapped at the top of my screen and you can see where they're plugged in. So you're just going to make sure that the movement motors match your code, okay. So the code has to reflect what you've done on your robot. Then a very common one to use is you've got to set the speed. Okay, so I set the speed at 50% if I want to go at half speed and you can make it go 100% if you want to go full speed. I think it's a bit unfortunate but they let you type any number you like in here but it won't go any faster than 100 and it's good not to go any higher just because it looks more manageable and easier to comprehend. We are going to get the robot to move now. Now you can make it start moving this way. I'm just going to change the speed down to 50% and make it go slower. If you found that your robot was going backwards, you could just uh, change this arrow here and you can make it go the opposite way. That would make it go backwards at a speed of 50. Or you could, there's always more than one solution. There's always more than one answer. Okay, so another way you can make it go the opposite direction is to change the speed to a negative number. A negative speed will make the wheels go the opposite way. Usually straight up is forwards with a positive speed, but it depends on how you built your robot. For some crazy reason, you might have built it a different way, okay? The other thing you can do if your robot's going the wrong way is just swap those cables around. Swap them around so that C and D are the opposite, okay? And if you swap them around, then your robot will perform in the opposite direction. Okay, so there's some very common blocks that I use, but I also use um, some of these other ones like move forward for a certain amount of distance. Okay, it might be 30 centimeters. So if you can put that on, press play, it'll stop after 30 centimeters. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. There are a few blocks here that I just don't use and I don't like much. It's a little bit dodgy because it's not really degrees. It's not really anything. It's not really accurate. I mean, I can, I can put that in there and we can just see what happens when I go 10 centimeters right, 60. It kind of goes around like that. So it's, it turns in a circle uh, rather than spinning on the spot. I find that there's much more useful blocks down the bottom. If you tap down the very bottom left icon, you can see you can add more movement blocks to your menu and right down the bottom of your menu you'll see there's other ones there so if you want to do some fancy turns I like to use this one uh, or this one this one lets you move for a certain number of centimeters but it might just say if you want it to spin you could go minus 50 and 50 and it'll move for 10 centimeters so it'll spin a bit if you want it to do lots of you could go 10 rotations, it means the wheels will spin around 10 times. Not the robot. All these values are for the wheels, not for the robot itself. So if you get it to go 10 rotations, it's not the robot spinning 10 times, it's the wheels spinning 10 times. And likewise, when you do degrees, it's not the robot how many degrees it turns. For example, you could actually do up here, you could go move forward uh, degrees. Now if you went 180 degrees, you might think <laughs> it's going to do a bit of a turn like this. But it doesn't do a turn like that because the wheels are turning 180 degrees, not the robot. If one of them's got to be negative. Okay, press play. And the wheels will turn 180 degrees. You see what the difference is there? I hope you do. Okay, so these variables here are for how much the wheels turn, not how much the robot might turn. And it's something that kids find it hard to get their head around sometimes. All right, so on these extra ones down the bottom, on these other movement blocks, 
There's a couple of these ones again. Again, I don't use them very much. I don't like I don't like these commands. One of them that I thought was quite interesting was this one. You can set the acceleration so you can actually go a bit slow at the start if you want to, and then speed up. So let's set it to 100, but let's uh, move forward. Actually, we'll go back up the top, and we'll just choose this one. Go forward for 30 centimeters. So it's going to go really fast, but it's going to go slow at the start. Press play. Hmm. Yes, that's very slow at the start, very slow in general. Probably because it didn't go far enough. If you made it 300 centimeters, it'd probably speed up. Let's make it, say, 60 centimeters and see what happens. Yeah, definitely accelerated a lot there. Okay, definitely accelerate a lot. Or you can make it go fast, which means it was accelerate really fast at the start. Let's go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I like kind of like that block, but I don't think it's that useful. Braking and coasting, I really don't think there's a lot of difference between them. So I don't use that block very much. I reckon this first one's really good because you can get your robot to spin. You can get your robot to turn. If you want to do just small circles, so you could do like 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters of small circles. Press play. Okay, so it will go, the wheels will turn for a meter and then stop. Pretty cool. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you got some great ideas out of that. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos on how to do things like use cogs to make the wheels go faster, or even how to add all the sensors. Please subscribe. Catch you later.